Hello my fellow geeks, I'm Mark and today on Elite Geek we're going to do a real quick video about lychee. I know it's pronounced differently but I'm going to say lychee because that's how I've always said it and I don't think I can change. A problem that has come up for me several times since I'm working on supported models like this are changes happen to the model after I have done all this work. I've got all this tank supported. Now these are tanks that are for sale printed at EliteGeekMinis.com. You can also buy the STLs if you want. Uh, I'll have a link for that down in the description. But I worked to get this tank all supported and then decided we needed to change it. And I needed to add this piece on the back. Everything else is exactly identical. But now I've got this piece on the back here and I really really don't want to have to redo this from scratch for a working printed tank. I printed a number of these just in order to add this piece. So in Lychee, there is an easy, easy fix for that, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now here I'm in the support view. That's not actually what I want here. I'm going to go to layout, and I have my tank selected. And this object editor over here, I really didn't know what it was for until one day I finally figured it out. So if I click here, and I go and find the file for this with the new update. So I've got my Panzer 6 is actually a Panzer 4, it's named wrong. Hall resin combine. Now I select this. What it's gonna do is Lychee's actually gonna replace that original file with the new one. Watch this, it'll just pop in place, look at that. So now I have my original tank with all my supports there, except it's replaced the original file and now that piece is there. Now all I have to do is go in here back to supports and I support this piece and I'll, I'll go in and do it properly later. But now I can support this and then save it again and I've not had to redo all of this work. This works for tanks, it works for troops, it works for whatever. Now, Lychee has actually even just gotten better about this. Here I've got some troops that I'm working on. I wanted to do the same thing, but you can see when I brought these in just natively with them combined, they're, they're offset a little bit. With the tanks, that wasn't the case. They were straight on top of one another, but they are offset because they have different weapons that are sticking out different lengths. It causes them to center on the base differently. But now you'll see here I'm running the pro public beta. I was running the production release, but I talking with the Lychee team, they said to try the beta. And now, even though the model is offset a little bit here, I'm going to take one of them here and I'm just going to add supports. I don't, uh, I don't usually use auto supports, but just for the sake of doing it quickly, I'm going to do auto supports here. Now that's supported. Now if I go back to layout, this is the flamer guy. If I click here and I choose somebody else, just the lasgun person. Oh, I didn't think it worked, but it did work. It moved the model and then put the supports all back in place. So you can see the supports here on his head. Not that these supports are great because they're auto supports, but they will at least all function and they're all touching the points where they're supposed to. Now the I've got supports hanging out here because the other model with the flamer actually stuck out here. So it's different, but what I can do is switch back and forth between these. I can manually support one of these models and then copy it and then go switch it out and everything except for the weapon here is gonna be exactly the same. So basically for this model, I've got 10 different versions, but I can do one support of it and then copy all the other models in place just support the weapon and be good to go. This does not work properly in the old version. So I'm running 323 beta here. They have uh, greatly improved this so it works great here. If you try this and it doesn't work, you may want to uh, download the beta or in the future, who knows when you're watching this, it may not be an issue. But that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you found it useful. I have more lychee videos coming because I really like it. I like it a lot. I have learned tons of tips and tricks for this, so I just need to spend some time going through it. If you want more lychee videos, let me know. If you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below, and, and let me know, seriously, if you want more lychee videos and how they rank on your priority scale. I started using lychee when the Photon Mono came out because Chitubox didn't work, and I can't go back. I just don't like the controls in Chitubox. Lychee, I just like it. That's all for this one, and remember, if you're going to be a geek, be an elite geek.